Hi, and welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Baludi. Today we will be multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers. Larry is biking around the lake. The distance around the lake is 20 miles. Larry bikes two and three-fourths times around the lake and then takes a break to go swimming. How many miles has Larry biked? Well, we need to figure out what is an equation that matches this situation. Now, he is biking two and three-fourths times around the lake. So he's biking two and three-fourths groups of 20. And one way to write that is two and three-fourths times 20. And that shows he biked two and three-fourths groups of 20. Now, before I get started solving, I like to do a little estimation to make sure that my answer is going to be accurate. I know that if Larry biked one time around the lake, that would just be 20 miles. But he biked more than two times. Two times around the lake would be 40 miles. And he didn't quite go three times because he only went two and three fourths. But if he had gone three times around the lake, that would be 60 miles. So I know, and I'm just going to jot this in the corner, my answer should be somewhere between 40 and 60 miles. And I'm going to keep that in mind as I'm solving to make sure my answer is accurate. All right, so let's get started solving using the fraction bar. I'm going to use this fraction bar and think of it as three connected fraction bars, and I'm going to try to make them equal in size. So I have three fr fraction bars that are connected, and each of them represents one way around the lake, which is 20 miles. So each of these represents 20. Now, Larry has already gone two full times around the lake. He's gone one time, and he's gone another time and that was 20 miles and 20 miles. The next time he went around the lake, he didn't go quite the whole way around. He only went three-fourths. So I'm going to break this fraction bar into fourths. And each of the fourths is going to be the same size. So 20 divided by four is five. So each of these pieces is five miles. Now, Larry only biked three of those fourths. So he biked this one, he biked this one, and he biked this one. But he did not bike the last way. So we need to figure out what are the totals here. Well, the first two times he went around the lake, that was 40 miles, 20 plus 20. And then the next time he went around the lake, that was 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 5 times 3, which is 15. So I need to add up 40 plus 15 to get my total here of 55 miles. So Larry biked 55 miles around the lake. The nice thing is that we figured out at the beginning it was going to be between 40 and 60 and our answer is in the right ballpark so we know that we are correct. Lisa walks one and one-third miles every day. How many miles does she walk in a week? Seven days. Okay, we need to make an equation that matches this situation. Well, in this case, Lisa is walking seven groups of one and one-third. Seven times one and one third because each day of the week, each of the seven days, she bikes one, she walks one and one third miles. So we have seven groups of one and one third miles equals something. All right, in this fraction bar, we are going to break this fraction bar into seven equal pieces. So I'm going to do that below. We have Now each of the seven pieces is worth the same amount. They are each one and one-third. 
And you can think of each of these parts of the bar as one day of the week. Great, now that we have our fraction bar labeled, we need to add up the entire fraction bar because she walked one and one third miles each day, each of the seven days. So we need to find out what is the total amount that that is. There are many ways to do this and we can use addition, we can use multiplication, and we can use a combination of both. I'm going to show one way and the way that I'm going to show it is by separating the whole numbers from the fractions and then adding them up at the end. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add up my whole numbers, the ones, and I have seven ones. So I'm going to write that as seven times one equals seven, or seven groups of one is seven. We could have also added one seven times and gotten seven. The next thing I need to do is add up or multiply my fractions. So I have seven groups of one-third. Seven times one-third. When I go ahead to, to multiply that, I know that that's the same thing as adding one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, four-thirds, five-thirds, six-thirds, and seven-thirds. So seven times one-third is the same thing as seven-thirds. We want to write that as a mixed number. Seven-thirds is the same thing as two and one-third. And the way that I got that is by thinking about groups of one-third. Here I have one-third plus two, th plus another third is two-thirds, plus another one-third is three-thirds. And three-thirds is the same thing as one. So I'm going to write that above. This is the same thing as one, okay? Now I'm going to add to that another group of three-thirds, and that is also equal to one. So I'm gonna write another plus one. And then lastly, I have one-third left over. So I'm going to add another one-third, and there's my one-third, the same thing. And when I go ahead and I add up one plus one plus one third, that gave me two and one third. So three thirds is one, plus another three thirds is another one, plus one third is two and one third. Now, the last part of what I need to do to solve this problem is I need to add up my whole numbers and my fraction part. So when I go ahead and I add seven, plus two and one-third, I'm going to get my final answer, which is nine and one-third. So if I wanted to answer the question, what is seven times one and one-third, the answer is nine and one-third. So Lisa walked nine and one-third miles in seven days. Those were two examples of how you can multiply mixed numbers by whole numbers.